my purple band Ditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here to Fuchsia City, today we are going to be making our way inside of the Fuchsia Gym. But before we do that, you guys can see that there's a shiny Growlithe following me around. I've been telling you guys that I was going to do a little bit of shiny hunting, and I managed to pull it off. So you'll be seeing on screen right now when I actually ran into it, I was checking the patches to the north of Vermilion City, so right to the south of Saffron. I just chained up to 31, kept catching a couple of the Growlits here and there, and then I would go in and out of the tunnel until I eventually bopped into a shiny Growlit. So I hope you guys are pumped. We got a shiny Growlit on our team now, and I have nicknamed this shiny Growlit after a very important dog in my life. It was a dog that I used to own that passed away. His name was Rush. So we're going to call our Growlithe Rush in his memory. And I hope you guys are excited to have a shiny Pokemon on our team. Now we are ready to make our way inside of Fusa City's Pokemon Gym. Take on the gym leader, Koga, the poisonous ninja master. Let's step inside with our shiny and take on our next gym. Look at that. Yo, champ in the making! We have the Safari Zone here in Fuchsia City, where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fuchsia City Gym, we welcome trainers who met lots of Pokemon, so... I'll need to see if you manage to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. Well done! Looks like you've caught 59 species! I got you guys. That means you are not worthy of challenging my gym. Whoa! That was Koga! <laughs> Startled by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style to confound and destroy you in battle as well. I'm amazed every time I see that. He looked just like me, right? Now, head on in. Spears his moves for yourself. That was so trippy. Let's go ahead and make our way inside of the Fuchsia City Gym. Now, this gym has some invisible walls we're gonna have to make our way through so let's take on our first battle of today we're challenged by tamer phil he's got a neat arena coming out and i got the one the only tack up in front so let's go ahead and see what tack can do this is a poison type gym so vision is gonna come in very handy we're gonna have to see what level Koga's pokemon are but i will leave in our team and we should be able to stand up to anything coming through here hope you guys are having a nice weekend and that you're enjoying it hope you guys have been having a relaxing time playing through some pokemon let's go just doing what you guys do for fun i've been having a good time mainly just watching some football just kind of hanging out just playing with my dogs it's a lot of fun i'm gonna keep my old moves for now maple's not gonna learn growth need a reno so we'll keep on going with that guys I was actually very surprised how fast I found that shiny Growlithe. If you guys are looking for one, I highly recommend just getting up to 31 on that catch chain and then just running in and out of like a certain cave until you find the Pokemon that you want. That's what I did and it didn't take long because there were so many Growlits continuously just cycling through. I was also using a lure which is good and I know that you can definitely increase your shiny rates once you complete the pokedex because you can get the shiny charm so that is also something that i've told you guys i'm going to be working towards so i feel very very lucky that i was able to find a shiny before we even completed the pokedex it's almost like it was meant to be so let's go ahead and jump into our next battle we're challenged by ace trainer kaden he's got two pokemon and one is going to be a muck good to see a muck being used around here i gotta tell you guys i really like koga's gym it's got a dojo feel to it you know it's like wooden Wooden floors, wood all around it. Just something old school to it, and I really, really like it. The muck. It's level 41. It's standing up to us. You can also see up by the windows, there's like a Venomoth. There's some Pokemon. There's literally a muck, a Golbat. It's pretty cool. The amount of detail they've put into this game is really, really crazy. They have gone all out. I would love to be able to travel Kanto and to actually sit there and watch some of these battles. Imagine if the day comes, the way technology's been speeding up, that we get a Pokemon game. 
10 years from now, could be less, and it's virtual reality, and you guys have seen how wonderful Pokemon looks now. It looks great! If you see the changes that have been made from when the original red, blue, and yellow came out till now, and you do a side-by-side -side comparison, there is without a doubt, you know, a lot of progress being made. So, imagine 10 years from now, the progress that could happen. We already have the VR headset with the PS4, we have the Oculus, we have a lot of different things. So imagine that they made a Pokemon game for VR. You put it on, and you were actually in Kanto. We can now throw the Pokeballs already. So it's just a matter of adapting that, and you know, just putting it in like maybe like a power glove, and you're throwing the Pokeballs. Who knows? I just hope that we get to see the day, so then we can travel through Kanto with our own eyes. That would be so amazing to see. We're one step closer with every game that comes out. And this one, I think, was the one that really pushed the boundaries, and that really made me realize it could happen, especially with the way it's connected to Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is already out there in the real world, and now we have a way to tie it in to the Pokemon world, which is pretty wild. We're just getting our worlds closer and closer together. Let's go over here. There we go. If you were a magician once upon a time, but then you dreamed of becoming a ninja. So you join the gym. I get you, man. I get you. Sometimes the dreams you have in mind don't end up working out and you have to take a different path. But that doesn't mean that the other path you took is any less than your first dream. As long as you're progressing and moving forward, I think that's all that matters. So let's go ahead and drop that flamethrower onto the Haunter. It's level 40. Now, Tack is poison, but as you guys know, we do have some very strong Pokemon that are gonna be ready to jump in here. We got Kadabra ready to go. Vision is ready. Come on. I haven't been able to land this for real? Let's go for the flamethrower, finally. The Haunter was really using that Protect out here, and there we go. Haunter is down. I'm also slowly trading Pokemon with some friends of mine. They've completed the Pokedex. I have a couple friends that have done it. So I'm just trading here and there to, you know, fill up the Pokedex, make some trades. I told you guys that I was going to get a Gengar for us. So the Haunter that I had previously caught, I managed to trade that over. And now I got it traded back, evolved it into a Gengar, which is really, really good. So those are some of the things I'm taking care of off screen. Mainly the filling up the Pokedex because it takes a lot of time uh, if you don't have the right tools at your disposal. Here comes the Sucker Punch. So let's go for the Flamethrower. Now the Gengar that I did get back, our Haunter, I need to train it up a little bit just like Rush here. So that's something that we're going to do guys. We'll make sure to train up our Pokemon as we get going. I'd like to round them all out to level 50. I think level 50 would be really, really good for our Pokemon. And we're close to it. We're really not far off. I also really wanted a Growlithe. Once it evolves into Arcanine, we'll be able to ride on it. And it's going to be so cool. So that's the main reason I really wanted that Pokemon. And I also wanted it as, you know, something to commemorate the memory of Rush. Which I think is something that I'm always going to do on my channel. Because of the impact that puppy really had on me. My life changed, I gotta tell you guys. One moment, you're just, you know, living, and you're just like a young kid, and then the next, you know, things change and you mature faster, much faster. And I know that's definitely something that happened to me. In just a matter of a year, I went through so much, whether, you know, it was like everything going on with Rush, or previously before that, I had a surgery where I donated my uncle my kidney, you know, he was very close to dying, and thankfully it's been two years now and he's happy. So all those events accumulated together to really mature me more, I'd say. So if any of you guys have seen some of my previous videos when I first started playing through Pokemon, you could definitely see some change there. But as I tell you guys, change is not a bad thing. It just means that you're growing and that you're making some progress, and that is how I see it. With every day, I take it as a challenge to get better. And I hope that I do a good job of that. So let's go ahead and keep going down this way. I gotta be close, right? Next up, I'm gonna loop the do up and to the right. We'll battle that trainer. And then hopefully, we'll find Koga here. So here we go. We got Tamer Edgar. He's got three Pokemon. One of them is going to be an Arbok. Another heads up to you guys. 
it's here in the Fuchsia City Pokemon Center that there's another one of these tamer guys and he's willing to teach you some moves so if you guys want to teach your Pokemon some moves keep a lookout for that there's a lot of exclusive moves for the starter Pokemon here here comes the poison jab Woo, Tack is down. Good work, Tack. Good work. You really pulled it through for us, so I appreciate it. We're going to send out Vision now. Now, Vision did learn a brand new move, so I hope you guys are pumped for that. We got ourselves Psychic. So let's go for that Psychic, ladies and gents, which is going to be super effective on all these Poison-type Pokemon. So see you later, Arbok. Let's see who's going to be coming out next. Rush grew to level 33. Yeah. Next is going to be an Arbok. Just a bunch of Arboks coming out. If you guys have a Growlithe that you've been training up to an Arcanine, leave me some tips and let me know what level you think I should evolve my Arcanine at. So if you guys have a certain level that you think is better than another, let me know. I always read through the comments and I really appreciate it. It's fun getting to read through there and to see what you guys are saying. I really appreciate all the nice things. It's usually just a bunch of nice comments and there's always a lot of tips as well. So it's just really, really helpful. I feel very thankful to have a group of people watching like you guys. It's very, very awesome to be supported. So here we go. The Arbok is down. That's it. Vision is so strong in this gym. I knew this would be the one gym where Vision kicked it up. We still got to trade Vision too. So that's something that I'm working on as well, guys. I'm sure I'll be able to do that next time. So here we go. Master Koga descended from a family of ninja. What did you descend from? Well, you know, our mom traveled over here to the Kanto region, you know what I'm saying? She was trying to start a better life for us. Now that we're here in the Kanto region, you know, we're traveling all around, we're doing those things. You know how it is. Here we go. We're up against a level 41 Ivysaur. So let's drop that Psychic. That's it. Ivysaur is out of here. Having a Psychic type against a Poison type gym is just way too OP. It makes it not even fair. So here we go. We got another Weezing coming out. Let's keep this going. And that's going to be it for the Weezing. It's level 42. No way it stands up to us. We'll be able to jump right into the battle with Koga as well. As I do feel like we'll be good having Vision up in front. And there we go. We defeated the Ace Trainer. We got 4,200 for winning. Now... We are one step closer to Koga. Is this it? Oh, man. I've made it. I hope you guys are prepared. Let's put Vision up in front. The rest of our Pokemon are ready. And it's time for us to take on Koga. Where'd he go? A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Opponents can't lay a hand on me, as poison brings this steady doom. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Fuchsia City's gym leader. Koga! Koga's got four Pokemon ready to go. We're going to be taking on the Ninja Man himself. Koga's ready to battle. He's going to open things up. With his Weezing, now I do have Vision up in front. We got five Psychics, and we got four Pokemon to use them on. So let's see how it's going to go today. That is the first of Koga's Pokemon. Down, we're moving on through. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Next is going to be a Venomoth. As I told you guys, I'm using all these Psychics. Venomoth is level 44. Very, very interesting indeed. And that should just about do it. Psychic Pokemon are really, really strong if used correctly. I've also been using some of those candies that they give us. So I've been using those in Vision to make sure that our special attack and our speed are higher up. Make sure you train up your Pokemon. Get their EV set. Do what you gotta do. Golbat is level 43 as well. This is some good XP for Vision here today. And that's it. Golbat is down, ladies and gents. 
Well, Koga, if that's all you got, that's all you got. Next is gonna be a Monk. So it is showing all of Koga's Pokemon up above the ledge, as you guys can see. Here's the Muck. We've seen the Venomoth. It's literally all of Koga's Pokemon. How cool is that? Oh, the Protect. Good work, Muck. Good work. Wasn't expecting that from you. We got one last Psychic. It looks like it has just about paid off. Muck hung in there in the yellow. Now we got a little battle on our hands, huh? Now we got a little battle. I'm out of psychic moves. No! Let's switch out to Loki then. And let's see if Loki can wrap this up. Hang in there, Loki. Hang in there for real. I found myself without even noticing. I feel like me and the Pokemon games, we have similar lingo. I noticed it when Blue was like, all right, well, let's go. And I was like, what? Or he was like, here we go. I'm like, really? That's what I say. You know, it's crazy. Hmm, you have proven your worth. We got 70-40 for winning. Check that out. Here, take a soul badge. So with that, guys, we obtained the soul badge. That is our fifth badge here in the Kanto region. We got three more to go. Now that you have soul badge, Pokemon up to level 60 will heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, uh, take this too. We got TM27 Toxic. Thanks, Koga. See you then, TM27 likes to move Toxic. It is an ancient move passed down through my family for 400 years. When hit with Toxic Poisonous effects, Pokemon will take more and more damage with each turn that passes in battle. It will surely terrorize your opponent. Thank you, Koga. With that, guys, we have defeated Koga. We got ourselves another gym badge. And then we are moving on out of here. So there we have it. There we have it. I know that it's here in Fuchsia where the Safari Zone is. You guys have been telling me to hop in there, to go to the Safari Zone, to check it out, to say what's up, to go in there, you know, say what's up, then there's Joy. I haven't been having much luck out here, guys. Put in a good word for me with your nurse Joys. You know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And now we are ready to continue on. So last time we came in through the left side of Fuchsia, this time around, we're gonna mix things up a little bit. We're gonna mix things up a lot of bit. So let's go into our party. Let's get Tack back out here. Not check the summary, Tack. We're trying to get you out here. Take out of the Pokeball. Sorry about that little rush, but we gotta fly on through. So we are gonna get to do more in Fuchsia. But before we do that, I want to knock out the last route here before we can pretty much complete almost the whole map. We're very, very close to finishing it up. And there are also some tips that you guys have left me. So I'll make sure to take care of those once we do get going. Now we're going to take on this route. So let's go ahead and jump right in, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The Bird Keeper is going to send out a Dodrio. I managed to catch a Dodrio earlier. There's a lot of Dodrios around Fuchsia City, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys to find them. I remember the Pokemon that was probably the hardest for me to catch in the original 151 was Horus. I did it in Fire Red through the Safari Zone, and oh man, the percentages of finding a Taurus in there are unbelievable. And then the odds of you actually getting the Safari Ball to catch it are even less. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if that's how you completed your Pokedex, props to you. We'd have to find out what the toughest Pokemon is going to be to find here. It makes it much easier that now we do have access to Pokemon Go. I was looking through my Pokemon Go account. I used to play it a lot. And I surprisingly have a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon that I know I can transfer over. So that's something that I'll most likely be doing soon just to fill up the Pokedex. Let's take down this Growlithe, level 37. All good. Looks like we aren't going to have much trouble at all today. I also think that it's very, very cool that you can pretty much go out there with Pokemon Go and find any of the Pokemon you're looking for, and then just ship them over to Kanto. And then you can play in Kanto with them as well. It's very, very cool that we now have like a little connection to the Pokemon world. As I was telling you guys early with VR, with everything that's coming, I wouldn't be surprised if 10 years from now that would happen. I know when I was a kid, I never thought I'd see Pokemon like this. 
I had an idea that games were gonna advance and get better, but for them to advance at this pace, for for the technology to advance this fast, that's what makes me realize Pokemon could grow a lot. You never know how much it could grow to. So there we go. We defeated the beauty, and we're pushing through the route. This is also the same route you can take from Lavender Town. You can come down this way to Fuchsia. There's just a different couple ways to do it. So it's pretty much how you decide you want to do it. You can go this way, you can go that way. I like to take on all routes whenever I get around to it. So it doesn't really matter which way we do take them. That's the cool thing about Kanto. It gives you a little bit of options. You have some choices to make. And I like that a lot. If Pokemon took a little more from, exam for example, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, in Breath of the Wild, you pretty much just get thrown into a huge map and it just tells you good luck. And you can choose wherever it is that you want to go, where to start. For example, your first temple, which would be the equivalent of a first gym. I hope that Pokemon gets that someday and that the gyms start becoming scaled by your Pokemon's levels rather than a required level. That would make it way crazier, more open world, you would have so much to do. I believe we'll get that someday. I really, really do. Now that they're actually giving us some scaling gyms as well, it could happen. If you guys have watched the Pokemon anime, one of the bigger underlying concepts of the gym leaders is that when you go to battle them, right? Let's say you're Ash, you have one gym badge and you go to battle them, since you have one gym badge, they're only gonna use the Pokemon that they have set for the, like the one gym badge battle. You know what I mean? So depending on the level of difficulty, the amount of badges you have, that depends on which set of Pokemon they're going to use, which is what the anime supposedly does it like. So you know, that makes sense why the battles are so even every time, even though it seems like Ash has been growing his Pokemon to get stronger. It's because the gym leaders have different sets of Pokemon, just like we do. Deferring levels and, you know, different switches, and it makes so much sense. So why wouldn't we have that here in the Pokemon world and in the overworld? It makes too much sense not to have it. That is something that I'd like to see. I've learned so much from Let's Go, just from playing, and it's taught me a lot of what I want to see in the future of the Pokemon games. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. This route's also pretty cool because there's a lot of Pokemon here. So I'm always up for opening up these routes to us. Some Pidgeys, I'm not too worried about it. I also have planned to do more shiny hunting to add more shinies to our team. If you guys have any shiny Pokemon that you'd like to see added to the team you'd like me to shiny hunt for, let me know. We found TM47 Surf! Yo! So that's where Surf is. It isn't even a Safari Zone. Look at that. That's a big change right there. That's a big change. Picnicker Yasmin. Here we go. I'm glad we didn't go into the Safari Zone yet. I could have been looking all around for that Surf. Who knows what I could have been looking for. All right. Tangela, level 37. I'm going to have to use some PP ups on the Psychic because I'm using it so much. I'm a big fan of our Kadabra. So I can't wait till we have an Alakazam out here. Seeking. We'll hold out here. Let's get Loki out. I'm going to save these Psychics. I did see that there's a couple more trainers up ahead. So we got to make sure we knock them out too. I also want to make sure I find more outfits. You guys have told me where I can find a couple. So I'm keeping those in mind. I really like the outfits on our Pokemon. I wish they would have added more customization to it. That would have definitely brought the game up another notch. I think personalizing your character and really just, you know, customizing it to how you want it to be, for it to look like you, to dress like you, is very, very good because it immerses you into the game. And we need that immersion here in Pokemon. What are you looking at? Trainers around here are already strong. I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to be strong. Shall I be your battle opponent? Here we go! Here I come! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rodri versus another coach trainer. This is going to be coach trainer Midge. All right, Midge, what you got out here? Machoke is going to be coming out. And we're going to send out Vision. I also need to trade a Machoke, get myself a Machamp. So it's all those Pokemon that I need to complete the Pokedex. 
big ol' psychic! That's gonna be super effective and do so much. But Choke is down. Good work, good work. We got Sora in the PC if you guys are wondering. So no worries, the rest of our Pokemon are in there hanging out. I'm building a good team. Some of the Pokemon we've kept, I've been training. For example, the Snorlax that we caught. I've been training it up here and there. Because you never know when I'm gonna switch them in. Keep a lookout for that. Could happen sooner rather than later. Here we go, Magmar. Finding a shiny Magmar would be hecka cool. That would be so awesome. Let's hang in there. Here comes the Fire Punch. That's not going to do a whole lot. Keep it up, Wave. Keep it up. And with that, ladies and gents, we are going to drop the Scald. And that is it for the Magmar. We're moving on through this route. Come on, Coach Trainer. That's all you got? You're the coach trainer, coach trainer! You trained everyone around here, coach! What happened, coach Midge? <laughs> she said, now I've trained you too? So that's how she trained them. She lost to them in a battle. I got you. I see the flame of potential in you. Let me give you a TM with your skill. We got TM31 Fire Punch! Yo! That's a good TM! Fire Punch! Who are we going to be fire punching in the face next? That is so cool! Which one of our Pokemon is going to be fire punching other Pokemon in the face? Let's jump into our next battle then. There's still a lot of trainers here, guys. Ace Trainer Kindra. She's going to send out a Vaporeon. I really... I'm going to need to heal up our Pokemon a little bit. I've used so much of our PPs. I got one Psychic left, though. We might as well give it a shot. Vaporeon is strong, though. Good tanky Pokemon. And here comes the Surf. So we're not the only ones who found that TM out here. Let's get Loki out here. Loki should easily be able to handle the Vaporeon. We're about to find out. You can also see that the trainers here are our level. They're pretty good and caught up. So this makes for some great XP. I also want to make sure to run through here for the XP. So let's go ahead and take down the Vaporeon. That is it. We're eventually going to get hit level 50 on all our Pokemon, guys. So no worries about that. If you're also wondering for some ways of how to train your Pokemon and do some things like that, I'd say just find a shiny, a Pokemon that you're interested in, a shiny of, go to that route, catch a chain of 31 of them and then just from there use the rest as xp gains until you find a shiny most likely you're gonna end up finding one i'm telling you guys the odds have been lowered so much that it's pretty cool you can definitely find yourself the shiny that you want i was able to and i'm happy about that because i want to share that experience with you guys here in the let's play and i'm so happy that i was able to find it it's something that I always had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do here while we were playing through Kanto, and I'm just really glad that I was able to achieve that. So here we go, Pikachu! Against a Dodrio. I'm dropping the Zippy Zap. We're not waiting anymore. That's it. The Zippy Zap is gonna do a bunch of damage. Dodrio is down. Good work. Good work. We're going to gain some good XP for this. We defeated the Ace Trainer. Now, I feel like there was more to this route than I realized. There is a good bit to go here. So we'll just go ahead and speed through it. There's a bunch of battles right there. Those guys look like the bicycle crew. The crew that used to hang out on the other side, but you can't really ride bicycles around anymore. So you just run through it. Bicycles aren't needed in a world with big, huge creatures, though, if you really think about it. So it would make a whole lot of sense that here in Kanto it would be outdated technology. So let's go ahead and get Vision out. Let's send out our Loki. And I'm all happy about this. Here comes the Drill Peck. We are good so far, guys. This is the way we've been expecting these battles to go. What other way did I expect them to go? And there we go. Hero is down. I like it. I like it. 
I want to rush to gain some XP though. Here comes the Pidgeot. I'm so used to playing Pokemon hacks that I keep thinking to myself that whatever Pokemon is going to come out is going to be different, like an Alolan type Pokemon or something. In Pokemon Insurgents, they call them Delta Pokemon. And I keep expecting, for example, a Delta Pidgeot to come out one of these days, you know? It's, it's bound to happen, right? We did it. We're moving on through. I'm not going to go to the left yet. I'm going to go straight on through to the right and keep pushing through the route. If I ever miss a trainer, I told you guys, I'll probably go back and battle them for XP. It's just about progressing through the route, checking it out. And getting it crossed off our map so we can travel around everywhere. We are very, very close to getting our whole map of Kanto filled. A little bit closer as we get closer to the 7th gen. And you guys know what is to come up. So let's go ahead and switch out to Loki one more time. A lot of flying type Pokemon here on this route. So keep an eye out for that. Get yourself some ice type moves. Get yourself an electric type Pokemon. Do what you gotta do. If you have yourself an Eevee, you might want to turn it into a Jolteon. Let me know what you guys turn your Eevees into. If you play through Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, let me know. I'm interested to find out. So that Pidgeotto is down. And we're moving on through. Who is next? Firo. That's gonna be it. This is gonna be an easy Zippy Zap. I'm gonna go zippy zap my way on through to this route. You know what I mean, guys? I'm gonna zippy zap my way on through here. And there we go. The Firo is down. Thank you for the XP, my man. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. We got 600 XP. We're moving on through. Bird Keeper Benny. Keep your head up, man. Keep your head up, dude. You can only learn from battling. So, check this out. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. They've done a great job of keeping this place up to form. This is a west to Fuchsia. I kind of want this guy to turn around just so I can explore this route a little bit. So let's see. Route 13. Hmm. I also heard rumors that we might be able to get ourselves another outfit here. So that is something to keep an eye out for. We'll jump into this battle. I don't even mind it. There's a lot of trainers here. A lot of bird trainers. So I'm definitely going to be coming back through here. Doing a little bit of training myself. And this is going to be a really, really great place for us. So let's send out a vision. We are out of our psychics. Think about how many trainers we battled today. We are definitely going to run out of moves sooner rather than later. We gotta get our Zippy Zap back up. I'm keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out for all the little secrets and hints that you guys have left me. Alright, let's go for the Zippy Zap then. And that is it. The first Doe Duo is down. What's the next one gonna be so we can keep on moving through here? Pidgeotto. I like it, I like it. At least there's somebody out there taking care of the Pidgeys. You know how many Pidgeys there are around in the routes? They're everywhere. The Pidgeys are definitely overpopulated in Kanto. So at least there's some trainers out here raising them and taking care of them. It's a cool thing to see, cool thing to see. I also feel like Rattatas would be another one of those Pokemon that would be overpopulated. They're just everywhere, like on every route and every single place and location. Trainer tips. Ah, oh, see, I knew there would be a little something over here. Well, Charizard, Charizard, you're huge, dude. Let me get on through here, Charizard. I wonder what else we'll find. I was hoping we'd find some items or something else. Not just battles, but I will take it. If that's what they want to throw out here, we'll take that indeed. There we go. We got a PP up. That's the PP up we've been needing. No joke. We've actually been needing that PP up for our Psychic. I'm going to get stronger. We're going to get more powerful. Let's go down here. And jump into a battle, it looks like. 
we've just about looped through the routes as well. Which is cool. Now we do have everything out in the open. I love exploring through this game. That's why I keep telling you guys. I can't wait and I hope that the day comes that we get a big open world Pokemon game. That is just gonna be amazing to me. If we ever get a Nintendo Switch game that's like Breath of the Wild the Pokemon, it's gonna be like a dream. It's gonna be dreaming around here. So let's switch out. A Charizard attack is out. Here comes the Minimize. Oh, Chansey, Chansey, Chansey. Why you always gotta do us like that, Chansey? You always gotta be so nasty with it. Never lets us just go for it. Always going for the Sing, the Minimize. One of the most terrible Pokemon to battle out here. I'm dropping the Brick, Brick, Breakity, Brick, 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 Breakity. That Chansey is down. Chansey, you're out of here, dude. Chansey, cut it out. Chansey, cut that out. All right, Wave Brew to level 44. Wants to learn Protect. You know, that's not a bad move for us to have, guys. On the real, I'm going to get rid of Bite, since we are more of a special attacker. And with that, we learn Protect. Rush Brew to level 35, yeah. Wants to learn Play Rough. I'll check it out. These are the moves that we have on Rush. Outrage, Crunch, Takedown, and Flamethrower. They're pretty decent, as you guys can see. We do have a higher special attack. Decent moves for now. Nothing too crazy. Keep the crunch out here. Keep the outrage out here. I do like the fact that it's a fairy type move, though. I do like outrage a little bit myself. I'm gonna get rid of takedown. We're gonna improve our moves anyways as we go. So with that, guys, we learned play rough. Yeah. And we defeated Beauty Lola. We got some Pokeballs, we got some Poke Dollars, which I definitely needed. I have to tell you guys, I've been spending so much on Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls are expensive. No joke about it. This is North to Silence Bridge. So let me go back this way. This is Route 12. Very, very cool. So if you guys remember, this is where we start making our way on out through to Vermilion City. Say hi to these guys, though. I'm told I'm good for a kid. All right, we'll take you on. Let's jump into the battle then, ladies and gents. We're challenged by Picnicker Susie. She's got a Jigglypuff coming out. I really need to get someone out here who's going to be healed up. Let's put the Reflect up. You know, I just, I just like to mess around. Might as well use a move here just for fun. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Here comes the Body Slam. So we got a bunch of physical moves coming out. Trust me. I think I know what I'm doing. I, th I think. I'm not saying I do. I'm saying I think I do. All right. Who am I going to send out? We'll get Loki out here. We'll send out our strongest to wrap up some of these battles. As there is still going to be a lot of battles for us to go through here. But I at least was able to knock a good amount out. That's the fun of it all, you know? We'll slowly but surely end up defeating all these Pokemon on our quest to becoming the champion. The Jigglypuff is down! Yeah, that's good. Next is gonna be Weeping Bell. So this should be the battle, guys. There was also one more Picnicker that was being talked to. So we'll keep an eye out for that one. Down to half. Hey, good job, Loki. I'm always giving Loki candies and petting Loki on the head, if you guys are wondering. So that's why Loki pulls through for us. I do it about once a day. At least once a day. I think it's a good thing to play with your Pokemon. Get your Pokemon happy so it won't let you down. That's the way to be. We got some great balls. So at least it's giving us a little something. And now, let's talk to this young fella. Hey, alright, we're battling you next, dude. You gave your Pokemon a quick candy. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Camper Nash has two Pokemon. One's gonna be a Sandshrew. This battle should be very, very easy for us here. 
as we do have a strong Charizard. So let me go ahead and drop that brick, brick, breakity, brick, brick, brick. Oh, not the protect. Well, you know what that means, guys. We're going to have to do it again. So here we go again. Can't protect twice. Brick, brick, breakity, brick, 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 breakity. I got it down to half. Okay, Sandshrew. It's a tough little guy. And there we go. The flamethrower has just about done it. So let's see who's going to come out next. It's going to be another Sand Slash. Very cool. Very cool. We'll make sure to take this Sand Slash out as well. And there we go. The Sand Slash has done it. Good work on our part so far. Tack is going to grow to level 47. That's great. Loki grew to 49. And we defeated Camper Nash. So with that, guys, we have defeated Camper Nash. And we've took down a lot of the trainers on this route. But there's still going to be a lot of trainers for us to take on. As you guys are able to tell, there is way more trainers coming through this place that we are going to be taking on. So I'm going to make my way on over to Vermilion City. We're going to get healed up because we're going to have to loop on back through to finish off the route. At least I was able to do a little something with it. I have fun with these routes. I really do, guys. I, I think it's always a great time. I'm actually going to go to Lavender instead. That way from Lavender, we can just come straight back down through this route. We've already defeated a lot of the trainers there, so we only have a couple more to go. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be continuing from here in Lavender Town. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help the series. I'm going to be training up our Pokemon, catching them up in levels. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what you would like to see, what Pokemon you'd like to see on our team, as I do read them all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.